Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's our annual Fishing with the Stars in St. Germain, Wisconsin. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, oh my gosh! It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing! Oh my gosh! Yes, folks, it's the annual Fishing with the Stars event up in St. Germain, Wisconsin. And we had a wonderful time at the community center last night. We had a record turnout. We had over 130 people enter our fun tournament. And uh, Rob, you organized this event and the chamber. And uh, actually, the people won some great prizes, didn't they? Yeah, we had, you know, honestly, if you were going to put a dollar value on it, we had about $8,000 in prizes to give out. So it was a real Really good, you know, effort by all the sponsors to help make this event happen and, and turn out the way it did. And you got to thank all the guys that entered too. Oh, absolutely! And there was a tremendous amount of them, including these wonderful people behind us right here. Well, Blake, yeah. In addition to the prizes, what's the deal? Fishing with the stars. Pete, you, Rob, me, and these are our lucky winners. Well, you know what? We're going to meet those lucky winners right now, and they're going to be on the show today. Woohoo! My name is Colton Kress, and I'm from Monaco, Wisconsin. Hi, my name is Easton, I'm from Monaco, Wisconsin. Hi, my name is Clayton, and I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Yamaha is giving away a brand new Grizzly XTR, and you have a chance to win. That's right, Blake. The Grizzly XTR is the best performing ATV in its class with superior capability, all day comfort, and legendary durability. The Grizzly boasts a powerful 700cc engine and features on command four wheel drive and power steering. To enter is simple, just go to GillespieFishing.com or visit your participating Yamaha dealer. Have you ever wondered what oil goes in your vehicle or your ATV? Well, at AMSOIL, we've got some industry-leading lookup guides that we spend a ton of time maintaining. So you could type in your snowmobile, you could type in your truck, you could type in your everyday commuter car, and it'll tell you what oil, what filter, and how much of each you need. You can also add your vehicle to the AMSOIL garage, and then it's saved. So next time you need an oil change, you just click a button. For more information, check out AMSOIL.com. Hey Mike, is this it? Hi Blake, welcome to Kettle Marine. This is a new Campion Range. Same boat you'll be fishing from this season. We added a few more options to the one we built on the Campion website, but it's so great to finally see it in person. There is a lot of buzz around this boat. The Rage is a perfect multi-species fishing boat. It's loaded with standard features for any serious angler. The warm weather can't get here soon enough, and Pete should be here soon too. He's gonna love it. Hey, welcome back, folks. I'll tell you what, uh, fishing with the stars, and it's going to be a fun day. And I love coming up to St. Germain in late May, early June. It really is a good walleye time. Oh, it's fabulous. You know, and this year, you know, we started off with early ice out and thought, boy, everything is just going to go bonkers. And then April came and we had snow. Yeah. And it's just been almost like a normal May with, you know, just a nice slow warm up, and, and things have been progressing very nice. Yeah, fish are in the weeds. and. Uh, I'm going to use plastics. You know, we got a slip over here with minnows. And we got Blake up in the front with Clayton. Uh, Blake, you want to introduce Clayton again? Yeah, this is Clayton. He's from Chicago and he's our star today. Can you say hi? Hi. Catch a big fish up there, will you, Clayton? <laughs> Yay, Robbie! <laughs> what do we got on here, buddy? Oh, it looks like a Walter. You need the net? I think I can flip oh, this Oh, yeah, that's in. a nice walleye right there, folks. That's going to start our day off wonderfully. And that was on plastic, huh? Yes, sir. And uh, you're fit. That was that up in the weeds. We're kind of running the edge. Yeah, that actually was way up. I mean, just it hit on the drop. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Come on, Clayton, catch one. 
All right, Clayton, slip bobbers go. down. We got them, we got them, we got them. Yep. Oh, we do got them. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> Been pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat. Okay. What do we got there? We got ourselves Ooh. a walleye. Hang on. I, I think you can just flip them in. Here you go, buddy. There, whoa, there you go. Yay! Hey, hey, hey. That, have you caught walleyes before? Yeah. Well, what do you think of that? That's a good one. Was that fun? Yeah. So when you got the slip bobber out there, what you got to do is bring the slack in, and then what do you do, pull back? Mm -hmm. And you did a good job. Now, what grade are you in? Third grade. And where's your school? Wasco. Wasco. Okay, and your girlfriend's name? I don't have one. You don't? <laughs> and what sports do you play? Uh, I do swim and baseball. And you're a great guy. Give me a poundo on that walleye. What'd you think there, Robbo? Did a great job. Good job, Clayton. See, Clayton, I can catch a fish too. Here, let's what see what you got, got here. Feels like a bass or something. Yeah. But you know, that's kind of, oh, it's a smallmouth bass. Nice. Wait, Clayton, come on up here, buddy. He was, <laughs> come on, come on up here. This guy was probably swimming next to your walleye, you think? Have you caught a smallmouth before? Yeah, I think. Oh, well, you catch everything, dude, you know? And what position in baseball are you? I just do any position. Any position he's that good, folks. Woo, woo. I'll tell you what, Rob, I love my comfortable seats in this Rage boat, man. This is a cozy way to fish, folks. Another smallmouth bass. And, Rob, that's not uncommon where, when you're fishing the weeds this time of year to get everything, right? All right. different things. You know, I'm sure if you were to examine that fish, he's probably got a bunch of little perch in them, and that's what everything's up here feeding on. Okay. I mean, so it's not uncommon in this time of the year. Whoop, we just slip over one down. Clayton, Clayton, Clayton. Yank. Hard, 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 hard. You got him, you got him. Oh, way to go, Clayton. All right, Clayton. How's it feel? You got a nice walleye. Ooh, another walleye for you, man. All right. Well, let's just flip him in. There you go, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two walleyes for you in, in 10 minutes. That pretty good? Are you going to tell your girlfriend about the good fishing? Don't have one again. Oh, you don't have one again. Okay, well, hold them up so everybody at home can see. Boy, did he ever eat that, Rob. Yeah. I mean, he got that down there. What do you got there, Rob? Oh, it, oh, it, it jumped. Is it pretty nice? Not bad. That's a flipper in her? Yeah. Yep. Large mouth this time. Ooh. You know, that's one thing that's worth talking about. On some of the lakes up here, you actually have an overpopulation of these, and uh, you encourage some of those lakes that are overpopulated to keep these and eat them, right? Right, especially when the water's in the you know low mid-50s like that. They're actually a very good eating fish. Now, that, look at that, the tickle tail paddle tail, and you've been loving that bait, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, no, it's got a great, great swimming action. I actually prefer the little bit bigger one like this. I don't know if you've been using the bigger one. Yes. The, uh, yeah, I just like the bigger profile. And just a slow retrieve. Yeah, with that bigger plastic on it, it drops a lot slower, and when these fish are finicky, I think that's very important. You know, we're kind of struggling on the walleyes today because no wind, man. You need a little breeze, right? Yeah, it was all here last week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that, look at that, he's casting, he's got, oh my gosh! Way to go, buddy, turn around, look at that! Look at that, you got a bass! How did that feel? Was that fun? Was that yeah. fun? Yeah, yeah and you, you were using this uh, swim bait jig, the tickle tail. And I'll get this out. What wow, did that bite feel like? You hooked them good. Um, it just felt like it was seaweed. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And you got a fish. Hey, and you're doing a really good job casting. Right, How do you like you. that savage rod? Do you like the rod? <laughs> yeah. It works good, yeah. Nicely done there, buddy. Good job. Well, I'll tell you what, Pete, we're going to switch boats now because old Clayton there wanted to compare hairstyles. Get down next to him there. I'll, I'll tell you what, this kid has some awesome hair. Now, I don't know if it's completely fair because I had the gator on, so mine's kind of mush, but this is awesome. You guys look like a great fishing buddies over there, you know? And he can cast and he caught fish. Now, who do I got over here? All right, we got Easton. Can you wave? Say hello. Hi. And Colton. Say hello. Where are you guys from? Monaco, Wisconsin. Oh, that's cool. Did you catch any fish with Pete? Yes. How many? Quite a few. Oh, nice. okay. What, the other guy doesn't talk? Did you catch any? Yeah, I caught like five walleyes. Five walleyes. Well, are you ready to catch some fish on TV? Let's do it. The sky. 
We were fishing the lakes of St. Germain, Wisconsin, a four-hour drive from Milwaukee, five hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Blackfish Performance Wear provides the ultimate sun protection and cooling comfort. With CoolCore chemical-free cooling technology, Blackfish gear wicks sweat away from your body, so it evaporates quickly, keeping you cool, dry, and comfortable. And without chemical additives, it doesn't lose its cooling properties, even after repeat use and washing. When you need protection and comfort, choose Blackfish, because you can't choose the weather. Eagle Claw is the only hook made right here in the USA. And they also make this new EC 2.5 bait casting combo. This combo is fast action, lightweight, and is built to stand up to long-term use. Hey, Blake, we're heading out on Green Bay tomorrow and the weatherman said it's supposed to be really, really rough. Just to be safe, I want to put in a higher capacity Johnson bilge pump. Dad, you don't need all those tools to change a Johnson bilge pump. All you need is a higher capacity Johnson cartridge motor. It's that simple. Hey Blake, that is really cool. I guess I won't need these. Johnson cartridge bilge pumps. The highest capacity, the easiest to maintain, and the easiest to install. Johnson pump, our choice for safety and reliability. Oh, here we go, Rob. It's been a while, buddy. And that's a, nice that's a very nice walleye. Look at that, folks. There we go. Come on, Blake. There you go. Hey, guys, come on back here. I want to show you this walleye I just caught. Put your rods down and come back here. This is a nice fish, isn't it, Rob? Sure is. And that was on the jerk minnow. And uh, this is kind of interesting here, what I want to show you guys. And get that hook out right away. Boy, he came up and ripped that, Rob. He really did. Okay, here we go. And there we go. Now look at that, Rob. It's got, what are, the, what are those things on there? You see that, you guys? Yeah. What is that, Rob? Cold water warts. Cold water warts. And that doesn't hurt the flesh, right? No. Well, hey, guys, how many hours have you been casting without a bite? Uh, two. Two hours without a bite, and we finally got a walleye. But you know, when you get the high blue skies like this in the in the calm, it's tough to catch walleyes, right? Yep. All right. Well, tell me well, what you guys usually catch. We usually catch walleyes, crappie, bluegill, bass, and northern. Okay, and your name again is Colton. And that's Easton over there. Easton, what do you usually catch? Bass and walleye and pike and. All sorts of different fish. Bass and walleye and pike and all sorts of different fish. Well, that's cool. Well, hey, guys, I hope we got about another 20 minutes and your mom is going to come and get you. Yep. So I caught a walleye. Maybe you guys can get back to work. Well, sadly, it's the end of the day for us with you guys. And you guys caught fish with Pete this morning, right? Yep. So that was fun. And you know, with fishing this afternoon, it kind of turned off. So, But you guys did not give up, did you? Yes. <laughs> well, we loved having you guys. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. All right. Say bye to everyone. Bye. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save $10 on the Akuma Magna Proline Counter Bait Cast Reel on sale for $39.99. Here we go, Rob, front of the boat there, buddy. All right, this feels like a walleye, Rob. I'm nice. not sure you're gonna need that clam, maybe. I got one back here, oh, John. Okay, you got one too? Put spot lock on, put I spot lock on. Oh, I Ooh, this, uh, <laughs> this is a nice walleye, I think, Rob. Okay, get him over there. Hold him up for us, Rob, if you would. Sure. That was a nice yeah. hit, buddy. That was a nice hit. We should uh, mention uh, that the guys had to go home and uh, we just decided we'd stay out for a little while longer. When you get these calm, sunny days, Rob, as you get later in the evening, it gets better, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, well, we've had our fourth wind switch of one mile an hour, now it's northwest. But uh, yeah, I mean, when, you, when you're struggling all day and we have an evening major coming in, you know, you, it, it pays to be out all day and, and stick it out. You know? Hold that walleye up. Yeah. Let's see the sides of them. I mean, it's, oh, it's, they're it's, such it's, pretty fish. well-built fish. Yeah, yes. hold them steady. There you go. You know. And the coloring up here on these fish is so beautiful, beautiful isn't yep. it? Yeah. 
But I mean, you know, we struggled all day. Glass calm, you know, the first real hot spell of the year. That's tough fishing. No, oh, yeah, when when you're dealing with low 50 degree water temps and you get an artificially hot day like this or where it artificially warms up the water so quickly from the sun, you know, and you jump three, four degrees, I mean, that, that's huge to fish, you know, and, uh, you know, that's why we were talking about this morning where we started to have a gradual warm up, but when it jumps three, four, day, three, four degrees in, in a half a day, it really makes things tough. Well, hang in there, man, they're oh, gonna I start. Am. I just, I, I lost my fish to help you out. <laughs> Switching gears here, we couldn't get any more walleyes, but look at this, folks. That is a nice crappie, and this time of the year, Rob, uh, you bring all your different rods and reels and baits, don't you? Yeah, you have to, you know, you can be prepared for anything, bass, crappies, walleyes, but uh, yeah, these fish are starting to move up shell. They're gonna think about spawn, <laughs> spawning pretty quick. That's a nice crappie, isn't it? It is. What is that, about 10 and a half? Uh, it might be 11. It's now time to announce this week's winner of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2021 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Dennis Van Meenen of Cary, Illinois, caught this 22-inch smallmouth bass on Green Bay using a minnow. Dan Corsi of Brookfield, Wisconsin, caught this 44-and-a-half-inch northern pike on the Mississippi River using a jerk minnow. Chris Kloss of Watertown, Wisconsin, caught this 22-inch smallmouth bass on the Mississippi River using a night crawler. Ron Schmolt of West Bend, Wisconsin, caught this 25-and-a-half-inch largemouth bass on Lake Tahoe using a live sucker. And this this week's first kid winner is Brant Walgreen of Dowsman, Wisconsin, caught this 31-inch northern pike on the Wisconsin River using a minnow. And Aiden Mann of Green Bay, Wisconsin, caught this 15-inch crappie in O'Connell County using a minnow. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. Check out what I found this week. The Berkeley Trilene XL Super Strong Fishing Line is on sale for $14.99. And the Northland 12-pack RZ Jigs on sale, two for $10. There we go, Rob. There we go, All buddy. Right. I'll tell you what, that was my first cast this morning, folks, with a jig and minnow. We may need that clam there, Blake. We might need that clam. Oh, yeah, that's a real nice fish. Ooh, there we go. I can actually just flip him in. That's a beautiful walleye to start today. And I'll tell you what, folks, Rob had an unusual day off. Usually he's guiding every day, so we stayed overnight uh, to catch a few more fish. And look at that, Rob. That is a gorgeous walleye, just a simple jig and minnow. And when you're in a kind of, the fish are in kind of a funk like they've been the last couple of days, the live bait's pretty crucial, isn't it? Right, no, I mean, some of these days, John, it's made a huge difference, um, you know, and it's it, it'll all stabilize out. I mean, today, t you know, yesterday was kind of a little bit of a rough day. Uh, weather conditions were horrible. We've got more wind now than we had all day yesterday. And so, you know, we chose a lake today to fish that we got multiple different uh, species we can go after. And I think we're first cast fish, you know, it's going to be a good day, so... Hey, front of the boat again, Rob, and I switched to plastics just to see if they would hit a jerk minnow, yeah, and boom, they did. I, I think I can flip this guy in here, Rob. There, boy, did he ever eat that, too. Nice. And that is interesting, folks. Um, I always carry, I always have two or three savage rods rigged up for this time of the year. Um, you catch one on a jig and minnow, then I'm going to try a little bit of plastic, too. And, Rob, that was one of those hits where you really feel the ping. Yeah. Uh, a real aggressive hit, so that was pretty cool. Very, very pretty fish, Rob, aren't they? Oh yeah, beautiful. Real gold and pretty. Well, it's got another bite there, Johnny. All right. I'm gonna and give this one just a little longer since I missed that last one. Jigging minnow? There, yep. All right, let's see what we got here, oh. man. <laughs> Big oh my bird. God! Oh my God! Walk up to the camera <laughs> with that, Rob. Well, look at that. Yeah, that's a big one there. Now, when there's one, are there more? Uh, usually, hopefully. I mean, look at the size of that. That's a solid 12, isn't it? Uh, yeah, he's right there for sure. Beautiful, buddy. And that's the neat thing. I love fishing in the weeds this time of year. You just don't know what's going to be in there. You right, know? yeah. Well, I didn't expect that, but maybe we, maybe we'll, there's a bunch in there. We'll see. 
Hey, Blake, I like the sweatshirt. Thank you. I got it at the Johnsonville Marketplace. Big taste from a small town. Yeah. Hey, speaking of summer, which is here now, I love Johnsonville Fresh Italians. Well, I want fresh brats. Well, that's simple, folks. We put them on at the same time, and all you do is cook them low and slow until they're golden brown, and they are absolutely wonderful, and everybody gets what they want. Mmm, Johnsonville Italians. Mmm, fresh brats. <laughs> and don't forget, all summer long is the best of the backyard sweepstakes. Your backyard deserves the best. For a limited time, buy Johnsonville sausage or Bush's baked beans for a chance to win a pit boss grill, professional cornhole boards, and sausage and beans for a year. Learn more at bestofthebackyard.com. If you want to know how the best anglers always seem to find fish, stay on fish, and be in the right place at the right time, don't ask them. Just look at the name on the side of their boat. The one that's built 10 million motors, shallow water anchors, and more. No angler's going to tell you their secrets, but they don't have to, because you already know. Minn Kota, Fish for more. The first thing that we're going to do today is attack panfish in the basin of a lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. This is not too early to come out and catch walleyes, huh? It's never too early. This middle of May stuff for walleyes, it's cool. It's a night and day difference putting the bait made on. This is ranked as one of the top smallmouth destinations in the world. And that bait made does work, doesn't it? It does. Catch more fish all year long with Baitmate Fish Attractant. Check it out at baitmate.com. Kalen's Pendu Jig features a patented free swinging hook. This feature gives any soft plastic or live bait an added action no fish has ever seen. As you jig it, swim it, the free swinging hook moves up and down, giving your bait or lure an unpredictable action. This jig also makes your live bait or plastic stand up when you pause it, imitating a feeding bait fish on the bottom that entices more bites. The Pendu Jig comes alive. Kalen's Pendu Jig is available in four sizes and 12 colors. Well, you had kind of a rough trip so far, so what we're going to do is switch to crappie so you can catch some fish. Yeah, I know. I haven't caught one uh, in this past two days, so hopefully I can catch some crappie. All right, well, I love the Emsoil hat, uh, it's really crappie strong. scrub, rocket bobber, and just fan cast. Yep. Hey, I'll tell you what, that didn't take you long, did it, Rob? Oh, he's just a little fella, John. Well, that's a start, and you kind of, and they'll all be kind of in the same area, right? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna just work along the outside of this weed edge. Um, but yeah, we're gonna catch bigger ones than that. Well, there you go, John. Yeah, you know, like I said earlier, we could keep all these different rods in here for different species. Oh, yeah. that's a nice crappie yeah, rod. It's a little bit hey, small. Little, no, no, but I mean, you know, that's the neat thing about having all of our rods rigged up. You got one rigged up with a wacko, and I got one rigged up with a crappie scrub, and you just try different stuff on a day like today. Yeah, no, we're we're just fishing a weed edge here. Got a little bit our you know wonderful four mile an hour wind here. Yeah. And I said, let's just see if there's some crappies here. And you are hot, dude. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, walk up, show the folks at home. Now that is a perfect size to, to pan fry. And you know, you're getting a lot more bites than I am. And a lot of times it's color, but a lot of times it's the size of the jig. Yeah, I got a little bit smaller jig than you've got on, and maybe just the initial fall is right. a little slower. Yeah. And that makes you know somewhat of a difference today oh there you go Blake <laughs> you're on the board Yay! Now just that, took two days for me <laughs> but that's a teensy hey but it's a fish finally yeah I'm finally gonna catch one Blake <laughs> all right Ooh, that's a nice hey, one that's look, at, look at how weird the colors are on that folks now why did they get so black like that Rob you know spawning spawning that's the spawning colors yep. there folks interesting very cool looking all right, Robbie Boo, let's see what we got here. And a little bit better. You know, a lot of folks coming up here, you know, for Memorial Day weekend and after that. Uh, do the crappies bite that time of year, Rob? They bite all year long. It's just a matter of finding them and, and seeing what they do differently from year to year or uh, month to month. I mean, you know, they're typically, when you get later in the summer, you know, they almost, sometimes have that you know 
early morning, evening type bite where they'll slide up onto a weed edge and you know suspend during the daytime. But uh, no, you can always catch them. Oh, man, did he eat that? Let's see that guy. Now again, is that is that the darker color again, Rob? Yeah, that's just what they. That's how the males turn that dark. Uh, you know, the darker complexion of the black on there, that's when they're spawning. Oh, yeah. okay. Yay, way to go there, Robbo. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's buddy? a little bit better, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's again without a bobber, huh? Yeah, I'm just plucking into these little open spots and, and you know, you can see that one, tri you know, swallowed that right down. Well, hey, buddy, we're gonna have to get moving, so yeah. we'll try a few more minutes and see what happens. Oh, I could stay and do this all night, but. For more information on St. Germain Lodge, Fibber's Restaurant, and Fishing with Rob, call Rob Manthai. That phone number is 715-891-0049. 891-0049. Want to save even more at Fleet Farm? Well, now you can with Fleet Rewards. It's free to sign up and there's no credit card required. Using Fleet Rewards is easy. Earn points every time you shop. Plus get exclusive member offers, birthday and anniversary perks, free tire rotations, and more. Download the Fleet Farm app or create an account at fleetfarm.com slash rewards to start earning points today. Fleet Farm, proudly serving the Midwest since 1955. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. Well, you know, the first really hot weather doesn't bring the best fishing of the year, does it? <laughs> no, and I got a farmer's tin here. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, before we go, folks, though, I want to thank Rob and talk a little bit about St. Germain Lodge. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful resort, folks, with cabins and hotel rooms on big St. Germain Lake. Mm -hmm. And what I like about it is you walk down the hill and what's there? Fibbers. Fibbers Restaurant. Great supper club, great food, and a, a great place to yes. come. And the neat thing is, again, folks, stay right there at the lodge and mm -hmm. walk down and eat. Thank you, Rob. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. And I'm Blake Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.